The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to run over some charts here. Uh, this is the Dow Jones on a 13-minute. There was a high yesterday at uh, 38,000. Uh, we were on the air, as you can see, when that happened. Just the uh, fact is we came off the air. It finally started to uh, go down. Uh, we dropped, uh, you know, well over 700 points in the Dow from uh, 650 points from high to low. S&P dropped 80 handles. Now, people have asked me, am I sure that that's – folks, I am not sure of anything. All I do is try to read these charts. The fact that we broke down – you notice the overnight low here, high, was at 382. Then the report came out on jobs. Market rallied up here. Couldn't quite make the 61. We did it in the NASDAQ, but we didn't do it in the S&P. The S&P went to the 50%. Now we've come here. What I'm assuming here, and, and this is how I'll try to make a decision whether this – is going to be a major high. The only way this can really be a major high, folks, and this is only this is only the second day down, and we're not even down. We're up. You know, we bounced from the bottom. But okay, let's just try to get this up here so we can see it real easy. We'll draw in the ABCD. There we go. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg here. When we get below thirty-seven thousand in the Dow, we're thirty-seven five. That's five hundred points from where we are right now. That's going to mean that we're down 900 points from the high, and I don't know how long it's going to take to get there if we do, but that's going to tell us that's going to be the first sign, yep, the trend has possibly changed, okay? Now, one of my favorite books I've mentioned to you many times has been My Own Story by Bernard Baruch, and he was talking to Fanny Bryce. It wasn't to Marlena Dietrich. It was Fanny Bryce, and she asked him, how do you make money in the stock market? And he said, you buy low and you sell high. And she said, how do I do that? He says, do you have 40 years? Of course, she smiled. She says, no, I don't. But he said to her, the stock market exists for one reason. They inflate, inflate prices to a very high level and people will buy it all the way down. I don't know if that's the case or not, but look how many people were bullish here. And look what happened there. So all I'm doing is just looking at the patterns. All right. All right. Let's just take a couple of look at some of the things we were watching today. OK, you all you'll know that we were long the gold. Let's get the gold market up here. We've been long the gold here. We bought the gold here yesterday. Well, a little bit lower than that. Where was it here? We bought the gold right here uh, and we took profits right up in here. Up, up with this level right here, we made about a thousand bucks. That was a really nice one. The one that was really interesting and people question, say, you can't believe this is going to happen because of what's going on in the Red Sea and all this. Stuff. This is this is the last five days. Remember, now, this is when the Red Sea came out and said, you know, <laughs> this is what we're looking at, you know. But look, you got your ABCD pattern here, ABCD. There's where we exited the long. We bought that down here at the 382, folks. And what we did today was look to buy it at the 61% retracement of this low right here at 72.44. The low was exactly 72.44 to the tick. And, of course, we put our order in to buy it at uh, 42 or 72.44.88. <laughs> Anywhere near 42.50 is good. We had a nice rally. You can see, but look at this. Here's the hard part of trading, folks. You buy it here, and at this spot right here, you've got a $1,600 profit. Now, I can't relate this to everybody, and I'm not going to say every time I get out at that point, but when I was looking at that, I said, okay, what was the rally high back here? All right, pull it down, and where did it stop? At the 50% level right here. There was the 6178. If it had got there, I probably would have got out of it, but I did not. I left my order in. Now, I had set through this whole thing. Now, what I've done now is I've moved my stop just below here because if that gets hit, I, I'm going to lock at least $600 in. I've already given back 1000 which I'm not happy about, but I can't do everything. 
I hardly ever do anything. Anyway, that's what that's why that's the way I'm handling. People ask me that question, and you know I can't do the mini trades and stuff like that. What I like to do is buy things and hold them for four or five days, uh, if I can't, much like we did in the cattle. And here, there was another problem that I had in the cattle yesterday, and we have a pig report tomorrow, folks. By the way, our guest today will be Rich Anderson. Here's the problem that I did yesterday. And I should have made really post haste of this. This was just intraday yesterday. I'm looking to buy it right here, which is the 382 on the whole move right there at 67.70. What I didn't see, because I'm doing so many other things, is you go from your AB leg down to your CD leg. You make an absolute perfect ABCD. And I've got my order to buy right here. Now, I didn't see this till after the the time was up but then look at this it rallies another thousand bucks that that those kind of make me silly because see what i wanted to do is i was trying to buy it at this level right there you see that you see the difference between that that was a hundred bucks and look what we've done now now we got a we got a report coming out tomorrow in the hogs which is going to be interesting the fact that we had a high here we backed off a couple cents so that tells us a little bit of selling up here so maybe Maybe, just maybe, we're going to get a chance tomorrow with a really negative crop report in the pigs that get down here about another two cents. And I want to be watching to possibly buy the cattle here at 67.80, 167.80, because that looks like a really good pattern. And as you recall, looking at this on the daily, we had everything that we wanted to see. And now we're back in this area. So we're looking to buy a 382 retracement of this move here after the cattle report tomorrow and we will be on tomorrow when the cattle report is out it comes out uh let me see just about now uh tomorrow so we'll be watching that one uh very very closely i covered the gold here is an interesting one that uh oh someone's asking about the nasdaq let me get that up here only take me a second folks uh well, we should do NASDAQ and since we're going to do that, we should do the Russell because they're all interrelated, that's for sure. Okay, here's the NASDAQ, and we're going to get a 15-minute up here. I know it went above the 61% retracement in the NASDAQ. Here's the range yesterday. The NASDAQ had a pretty big drop. We went from uh, uh, 1708. Now we dropped 300 some handles, folks, right down 350 points. And you'll notice we did go above the 61% uh, retracement today. Not by much, and we didn't stay there very long. You see, we went up here, and there's where we are now. We've got lower tops in here. So the key is, because we had this low here, we're still up on the day, so it's trying to hold. Look how many, we've been here for an hour at the 61% retracement. When we start getting below here, that's gonna be a negative sign for the longs, would be what I would be watching. So anything making new lows below here, which would be down about another 30 handles in the uh, NASDAQ, then I would say, yes, that's probably uh, what's going to be moving along uh, from that level. Now, I've been asked to take a look at the natural gas. So we'll get over here and take a quick look at this. Here's where we are in natural gas. There's the 382 in the long-term daily, folks. Look how many times we've been here. We're going to cover this when we get back. This is important to, to really watch. So let's stay with us. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Com. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, here is a situation that we have going on in natural gas. You'll notice from the high we made back here in November the uh, 23rd, right before Thanksgiving. Uh, let's try that, Larry. After the day before Thanksgiving, you'll notice here that uh, we've come down. We hit the 382 retracement here, backed off. Hit the 382 retracement here, backed off. Now we've made it the third time. What's different is we sold that here the other day, just two days ago. Very nice 382 up there at 12, uh, excuse me, 258. We covered it here at uh, 239. Okay, that was a 61% retracement here. But look what we've got going now. Looking at this really closely, remember this is a holiday atmosphere. This is an hourly chart, but we have a valid ABCD pattern right here. This is what I would call, look, you've taken out all of these stops. You see that? Those stops are gone. You would think they would be. There's your ABCD leg right here, right on the money. So it shouldn't get much above there. The high was 260. It's trading at 258.50. So that looks like a legitimate, uh, a, a legitimate short sale if you were going to be looking at it. Let's just look at it a little bit in depth, okay? What we're going to do now is go from uh, using our, our timing thing on the bottom. We're going to go from low up to high and see that it took 15 hours. You see that? took 15 hours to do that. I'm going to get rid of all these others here so you can see them out of the way. It took 15 hours to make that high, 15 trading hours, okay? So all we're going to do now is we're going to move this over from your low to your high, and we are in the 50. We're actually one hour past, so it's really close. So there's another thing that tells you maybe this is good. This is what we'd look at when we're watching time and price. Because if you drew this on a little pattern recognition tool like we have here at Edson, you'll see that lines up to a drive one, drive two, and drive three. So we measured from low to high and low to high. So what we want to do next to find out if the geometry is correct is we want to measure from high to high to high. So we take the little tool 
I'll show you how to do this at home. It's real simple. There it is right now. There's time and price being squared upside down. This is it. This is how the ball game's played here in Tucson, Arizona. Getting rid of this in your home and you don't have this tool, it's really simple, folks. Take a ruler and a pencil and go from your high. Just draw, draw it in like this, okay? All right. Measure it with a little pet ruler, whatever you have to do. Take that and move it right over there. And there's your same little tool, just like you were looking right down here. That's exactly what you're looking at. You got three things that make you believe this is a good sale, okay? A, you have an A, B, C, D. That's the standard of what we use. We have high, excuse me, low to high, and low to high is absolutely perfect at 15 hours up, okay? And we have high to high and high to high all coming together. That's Mother God and Company, folks. It doesn't get any easier than that, and it's certainly not hard to do. It's not rocket science, but that's what pattern recognition swing trading is all about. All right. Now, I had one other question, and that was about the soybeans because they've been under a little bit of pressure here, and we're getting close to what I think is going to be a pretty good bottom. Let's just get this up here. You see here, we're getting ready to take these lows out right here. That low came in at uh, 294. The low today has been 295. So let's just match this low. We need to take this low out because there's got to be stops there. I mean, I can't believe that there wouldn't be, but maybe there isn't. I don't know. But here's what we have in the soybeans. There's a, We're a little below the 78% level. We had a nice rally to the 50%. Now look what we've got. A, B, C, D coming down. And that's a nice A, B, C, D pattern because you've got a high here. you got a high here. So we're going to be able to look at it on a four-hour chart and see it just a little clearer. And there's where we want to be looking at. This is where get rid of all these other little things from the other charts. So there's where we are. Remember, these were the stops are down. It's going to be down in here somewhere. And look where we've got going. We've got a nice A, B. Look, you can see here the last high that we made was almost an exact 382. Oh, actually, it went to 50%. Sorry. Now you've got this pattern coming in right here. You've got an A, B, C, D coming in right there. So we're just going to draw it in. This will be for tomorrow because we'll be off the air by the time this thing starts to move. We should get down here to this level here around another 30 cents lower. We might only just take this out by a little bit and turn. I don't know. And the reason why I say that is I'm stretching out this ABCD pattern because it's almost making a new low. Watch this. This is where the stops will be placed right at the D part of the ABCD. See, so if it gets to this level right here at 1286, okay, you're just taking out all the stops from that level. And that tells you that that's a good spot. So what I'm going to do, and this is what I usually do at night, I'll mark this off like this, all right? And I want to see if I can verify that any other way. I just go back two more days, and I see a high right here. So i got to use that one. There's your high right there. There's your uh, – and draw it in right. That's because we're alive and not Memorex. I'm just going to draw it in just like we would be at home. There's your AB leg right here, okay? And I'm just going to clone that. And we're going to see where it comes into. And if it comes anywhere near, uh-oh, where are we, folks? We're in the buying box. So this is what I think we're going to do here is take these out, and then we're going to have a pretty good rally. Look, if you buy it here, there's going to be a lot of stops. So far, they haven't been hit yet. This was 293 and three quarters. This has been 295. These stops are going to be hit, and then we're going to see how close we get to uh, uh, 1286 and three quarters. That's down 14 cents from where we are right now. But that's the kind of pattern that you want to be watching. So if you mark this, there's your. Uh, let's just draw. Let's draw the thing in easy way. Hope I can do it the right way. Sometimes these things get a little squirrely. That's that one right there, and then we got the other one right behind it. That is right here. So I got a lot of things that tell me this may be a good bottom, certainly tradable. You know, I'd be buying at, say, 1287 uh, and putting a seven-cent stop. Where can you be a farmer in Indiana and Illinois for 350 bucks? It just doesn't happen. You know, you got uh, farm equipment. You got to lease the land. You got to hire somebody to, you know, run the combines and stuff. Just doesn't happen here at the Chicago Board of Trade. You just buy it. Put your stop in and you become a farmer of uh, 
5,000 bushels of the fine soybeans for January delivery. So that's what we're paying close attention to here. We've had a request to talk about the wheat, and we have Rich Anderson coming up uh, in just a minute here because remember Rich was on several years ago when wheat was uh, up around the old, uh, how high did we get? 13 bucks, I believe. Yeah, 1370 is where we were back in here. Of course, he's been on many times, but there was a high in 2022. We're still looking at a possibility of seeing wheat below $4. I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know, it's certainly possible. But we'll have Rich on when the break comes up here in just a few minutes, uh, actually in 32 seconds, and then we'll see what he has to say. I've got some questions for him about options. So stay tuned, folks. Rich Anderson coming up next, 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I believe we have Rich Anderson of Anderson Capital Management on the line. Rich, are you there? Yep, I'm here. How are you, Larry? Happy holidays to you and the family, Rich. I oh, know thank it's a you. Big, you too. Man, I know it's By a big the, deal there. <laughs> How's your weather? The way, I thought zero that was a great call you had yesterday selling the S&P. 
Oh, I got lucky once in a while. Rich, we got a, a, a hog report due out tomorrow. Is that correct? Yeah, they're on Friday. They're on Friday. Okay. Friday. Now, yeah. what what can you give give the folks? Where tra- hogs are trading, Feb hogs are down around seventy cents. They've been as low as sixty five. Rich, you remember about six or seven years ago, hogs were under the cost of production by I think they were trading for forty five cents, and you were on the I, show. I know. I went I went and bought a honey baked ham for Christmas. Yeah. I paid more for that ham than a whole hog was being sold for in South St. Paul, and. When you would go to the auctions, if you had a horse trailer, you know, because a lot of these guys go and just pick up a few heads, you had a horse trailer or a truck, you had to luck that sucker. Otherwise, you'd have a bunch of baby pigs in the back when you went home. Because these <laughs> baby pigs are penciling in almost an $80 loss. So a twelve, a, a sow could have 12 pigs, that's 960 bucks, And, you know, you can liquidate that sow, but you're only going to get $100 for her. It's, yeah, people don't realize it's, that, do they? Uh, it costs a lot to feed these a, little things. <laughs> it's kind of a train wreck right at the moment. Yeah. Rich, I have one other question about the uh, the live cattle market. We had a high up around one, uh, almost 180, which was an all-time right. yeah, high. By the way, you bought you bought that. I remember you bought that on the low because you called me up and I was shoveling snow and you wanted to know what the opening was going to be. Yeah, well, I got lucky on that one. But, I, but I now remember. it's going to be 50 this week. Can you believe it? In Minneapolis in December, yeah, it's it's it's, wow. it's just crazy. It, and wow. November and December were two of the driest months ever for Minnesota. Yeah, but anyway, go ahead on the cattle. Okay, the cattle we have cattle have gone from you know like one eighty down to one uh, one sixty two or something like that. I mean, this is an incredibly high price for for cattle. They've hardly backed off at all. Is there going to be any relief here where we get cattle down to say one twenty or one you know, 115 in the near future, or are they going to remain high for a considerably long time? Because I know you have you have cattle on your ranch. So what do you think there? Well, well uh, you know, I think we can revisit the lows, okay? And I think we're going to okay. stay in a trading range. Uh, in fact, I was just talking with a, a buddy uh, 20 minutes ago and and uh, sell, telling him where uh, he could be selling uh and in any case, I think we're going to just be in a trading range, and but it's a broad trading range. I might add that if you look at the feeder cattle market, which is you know that's the the ones that you buy and put the feed in them, and then they become fat sure. cattle. That that dropped exactly fifty percent. You know, if you go and look at the charts, you'll yeah, if you, the monthly charts, you'll see you'll see that. Now that same kind of a phenomena happened back in '09 to uh, 2012. Except it, it took a lot longer. These things are happening, you know, yeah. in goes for microseconds it. compared to the old days. I mean, yeah. well, look at yesterday's sell-off in the S and P. That that in two hours it took five days worth of, of rally out of the market. Yeah, Rich, we got a call on the line here. Jeff from Philly is having has, <clears throat> has a question for you, Rich. Go ahead, Jeff. Sure. Uh, hi, thank you. Um, yeah, I have a good question for Rich. But before I do. Larry, I think that report comes out at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, so I don't think it's during your show, but you, you can ask oh. Rich. I'm not the expert. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Rich, uh, yes, um, I heard uh, quite some time ago on Larry's show, you mentioned uh, reference to a, a study that shows the uh, uh, market impact of different uh, agricultural reports. And uh, I was wondering, like, uh, how can I get that report or what the name of it is and who offers it? Well, all these reports are provi- like the pay crop report. All these reports are provided by the USDA, United States Department of Agriculture. That's that's who puts them out. You know, that's that's who yeah, publishes them, and and they're you know they're available to anybody. You know. Yeah, but you got to. Uh, well, so you, report, you know, in the after in the afternoons, you can go to uh, the CME Chicago Mercury Exchange, uh, and they have different people that will. Uh, comment on on grain reports or well they'll comment on everything you know and so you can uh, listen to them and they'll 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 go over it or you can go to uh, YouTube and there'll be two or three different firms that will go over any any and all these reports so there's there's plenty of places but if you actually just wanted to read the numbers you go to the USDA but uh, um, the, what's more important is not what the numbers are, but what the expectation of the market was versus the numbers. That's that's yeah. the key. 
That's a key. Right. Well, what, what I was actually looking for is the, the market impact. In other words, like for the for the pigs and hogs report, the market normally will respond plus or minus 6%, you know, something like that on all the important reports. Is there any kind of study out there that has that information? Not, well, I'm sure there is, not, not that I'm aware of, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure somebody's done that, but, uh, you know, uh, there are, there are a lot of people that do that in the equity markets, uh, particularly the option trader kind of guys. Sure. Um, but I'm sure that somebody's be, done uh, that in the futures, but yeah. not that I'm aware of. That's a good idea, Jeff. That's something we ought to think about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're, if you're, well, you're if nobody's done guy. it, I'll do it. <laughs> There you go. You probably got a product that people would like to buy too, Jeff. Rich, you remember the days when we used to trade hogs and bellies and cattle and they would be limit up, limit up, limit down, limit down. You never see that anymore. Those limits are gone, aren't they? They they just well, well, expand the limits. Well, that's expanded ranges. Yeah. Well, well first hmm. of all, the range right, well, I'll, I'll get off. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Limit. Yeah. It's been a, how long has it been since we've seen a lock limit in, in cattle or hogs? You know, since the expansion, I, 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 um, I don't know. It, it's probably that's a very good question. Probably a couple of years at least. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't remember one um, that was yeah, locked. I, I can, well, I well the other, the other either. reason that, that 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 they don't get locked is anything that has options on it. Even if it's locked limit down, you can still trade out of that by doing a synthetic futures, which is uh, you know, let's say you want to get out. Of, of uh, the long side, well, you're buying a put and selling a call, and they'll synthetically do that, and they might take an additional, you know, uh, four or five cents. In the old days, uh, you'd hand them uh, the keys to a Cadillac or something like that in the pit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, listen, we got. I think we got a break coming up here. I want to talk to you about the. We started summertime over there in the. Uh, 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 South America and stuff with Argentina right. and Brazil and stuff. What's the soybean situation and the amount of uh, soybeans that China has to have? Because they got 1.3 billion people that eat a lot of tofu. So what do you think is going to happen to the beans? I mean, we're $12 beans. Are we going to go to 10 or are we going to go to 15? Well, this is the rainy season and they're, and they're uh, not, you know, they're, they're going to get some rain this week, but it's been yeah. very dry. The, the biggest two producing, uh, Monte Grosso is the number one producing um, state in Brazil. But keep, keep wait till after the break. This week after the break. Rich Adams will be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights Firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management, and we have taken a trip down to South America, where right now we're in Buenos Aires, heading over to Rio de Janeiro. Tell us about the crop down there for beans, Rich. Well, just like up here, it, it's been dry. Um, the, the anticipation that the La Nina would uh, give us more rain last summer in the United States, and that didn't work out quite the way they expected. And it's, it's dry down there, but keep in mind, that the growing air acreage in the United States is about a thousand miles from the northern part to the southern part of where we grow grain, the grain belt. Down in Brazil and Argentina, we're talking over 2,000 miles long. So, Monte Grosso is the number one uh, soybean producing state, and they're having problems. They've uh, surveyed the producers, soybean producers down there, and they think their crop could be 20% uh, lower now. The Argent, the Brazilian government has got their crop five or six million metric tons less than the USDA. And eventually, they you know they come together. But it's weather's an issue. But there's there's rain in the forecast and it's coming in, and they need to replenish the the moisture. And we'll we'll see if they get it done. That's that that's the thing. And if they don't get it done, you know, then the beans uh, have higher to go. They do get it done. Um, you know, they're, they're just, they're just going to probably sit in a, a wide trading range. And as far as the February out for the U.S. market, then the February outlook is where, uh, the USDA puts out numbers. And right now the corn bean thing favors planting beans from over corn. So you'll probably see some reduction in corn acreage and increase in the bean acreage, but it's so down in, in in the South America, they double crop. They cut, they take, take, harvest the soybeans, and then they plant the safrina corn behind it. And because it's so dry, uh, some of that corn may not get planted, uh, and or wow. will get planted in very poor conditions. The, the uh, you know that's, and then on top of that, you've got transportation issues. And the reason we've seen some buying from uh, China lately is because we. We get some transportation advantages, but um, like in wheat, the other day when uh, Egypt tendered for wheat, the cheapest wheat was from Black Sea from Russia. Um, you know, that's we're, 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 it, it's a critical yeah. month right now for yeah. for beans down in yeah. South America, and they need to get the moisture. There's moisture forecast. We'll see how much we get over the weekend. That's that's Rich, really what it's supposed Rich, to. How about how, how about the Panama Canal? We hear news reports that uh, the the water levels of the canal, because it's up quite a bit from uh, you know sea level, right. uh, are very very low, and they're not able to get some of these large ships from China through. Is that is that correct? Right, the the Panama ships and. Uh, it's Lake uh, Gasson, 
and that's what's used to, you know, raise and lower the, 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 the locks. And th- there's no relief in moisture that will build up this lake until at least summer. And there, there was a, a queue of maybe 60 ships waiting to go through there, and, and it, it's really causing all kinds of problems. They're looking at, I just studied that uh, yesterday, and they're looking at taking this other lake and diverting water from that into the Gatlin Lake. Because every time they open, let's say you get a ship through, then you open to let them into the ocean. Well, the water that was in that lock goes into the ocean, right? So they're constantly... You need lots of water, and it's a a real problem. And uh, they hope to figure out how to solve it, but uh, there's no answer on the horizon. The um, I can tell you the things I am looking looking at. uh, One of the best, strongest seasonals um, is you know gasoline. It's what we use in the summertime, right? And heat also we use in the wintertime. So this is the time of the year. The last couple of weeks have been the time of the year to be looking at, you know, spreading uh, May gas against uh, May heating oil. And the natural gas has caught my eye. Um, I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, it, it's been so warm that there isn't a lot of usage. But if the you know something in the weather changes, it, it could all of a sudden become interesting. And I I think look how well this crude oil is held. You know, the report that yeah. came out increased the, the stocks in the United States, and yet the market still held relatively well. And that's because we're, we're queuing up these, these ships. You know, I don't know if you remember, but when I was on your program a week before Russia invaded Ukraine and the Olympics were on, I said, well, as soon as the Olympics are over, they're going to invade Ukraine, and they did. Now, here, our Navy, Brits, the French, <clears throat> and several other partners – they're not going to allow the Houthis to shut down shipping in the Red Sea. And that's hurting mm-hmm. everybody, including China, you know, because yeah. everybody's paying for more insurance. So I think yeah. there's going to be some fireworks, and uh, that's going to make things interesting. And as far as the, the stock market goes, all you have to do is look at the housing starts. We're 200000 over the estimate this week. You know, people yeah. are getting way over their skis. And, and anticipation of the, all the cuts we're going to have next year. And if we have cuts, I might add, it's usually because the economy's not doing well. And usually when you see the first cut, the markets don't do very well. They sell off. And so I, oh. I suspect that they're maybe not going to have cuts and the market's going to, you know, still do well because the market, the economy's doing better. So that's, oh. that's my over, that's my overview. You know, well, that's what we want to do. That's I'm why you get poor farmer. What do I know? Yeah, yeah, that's why you get the big bucks, Papa. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, Rich, and happy holidays to you and Lisa. And uh, tell the kids I said hello and have a wonderful holiday. And try to stay above fifty degrees there. I know it gets cold over there in Minnesota, and I certainly I don't want to be anywhere near that. <laughs> I know. I can't believe it. You take care. Okay, Thank buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Rich Bye. Anderson, folks. Anderson Capital Management. And uh, during the break here, we've been asked to take a look at the silver market. It's been acting a little bit differently than the, uh, the the gold market, but we'll get it up here and take a quick look at it here. Here's our silver coming up here. We'll just get the daily, and uh, you'll see it's actually, I think it's down on the day now. Let's just look and see where we are. Here's been the action in silver over the past few days. Now, you notice the low that we made. We had higher bottoms in here. This was a really nice, this is a one three five pattern. Each of these is related to the ratio. We have the big ABCD that went all the way up, took out the almost took out the high of May of last year, met, matched it, but didn't take it out. And then we backed off, and all we've done today, you notice here, we had a big break here. This was the hundred and some dollar break in the gold, hundred and forty dollar break in gold. Silver broke four dollars an ounce. Well, three and a half dollars an ounce. It stopped just a little above the 61, well, right on the 61% retracement right here. Then we had a big run up, and then we're, here's what we've had so far. So what we're going to do now is this is the nice rally. This day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven-day rally. Let's see if it went to the 61% retracement level. It did not. It went to the 50% level. That's where it is right now. It's still up a little bit on the day, but just marginally. Let's get down and look at it with a microscope 
with the uh, hourly chart and you'll be able to see oh we did make a higher high i stand corrected we'll be right back we're going to finish up with the silver here because we missed this 382 retracement by a heartbeat 877-927-6648 If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, someone's asked me why I'm so bullish on gold and silver, and I will show you the silver chart. Uh, you notice this, it's got a lot of stuff in here, folks, but all I'm going to do here is to just get rid of it, some of it, just to show you how simple some of the stuff can really be. Let's get this up here. All you want to do now is you want to go look, and you can see you have, a, you have a low here, you have a low here, and you have a low here. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to see if there's any symmetry between those lows. So you come over here, and eh, it's not too much, but if you took the other low here, not too far off, okay? What I'm trying to point out to you folks, this is a head and shoulders pattern. You see how this is your left shoulder? There's your head, there's your right shoulder. The right shoulder comes in at a perfect Gartley at a 61% retracement right there, okay? And then if you look at that, there's your left shoulder, there's your head, there's your right shoulder. We have had a haven't taken out the highs yet, but we've had higher bottoms in here. This tells you they have a high probability that we're going to go higher. I will make this prediction, folks. This is the monthly 
You see this high up here? When we close above this high, silver will go to $100 an ounce. That's my prediction. I really believe that. I've seen this high three times in my lifetime, 1980, 2007, and 2011, not 2007, 1990, whatever it was back here, back in the old days of Drexel Burnham. But uh, that's what we we're watching. That was way back in the 80s. But once we get above there, that means you're going to be going, you know, a great deal. Now, that's got a long way to go to get there. Before it gets there, you see it has to fight with this monster ABCD on the monthly, you know, taking you up into this level here. Uh, at around 33, 33, 30, let's say 34. Once you start getting above 34, 10 bucks from where we are right now, then it's when we get above here that you're going to get it. I've always recommended buying these silver rounds. Do that. Let's take a break. Tomorrow we're going to have our good friend uh, Peter Elides. We'll be right back, folks, tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.